Welcome back everyone to more of our custom career mode in VR gameplay. We're coming off of race number four at USA Speedway and it was a lot of fun, a very clean race. So let's go ahead and drop in our numbers. Starting with the finishing position at USA Speedway, we came in 12th. So we are solidly inside the top 15 in our last three races, which tells me that South Boston is a bit of an outlier. It could just simply be that I don't have the rhythm for that track, or maybe the AI is just a little more difficult, regardless of what's going on. I like what I'm seeing in these last three races. Now, I did mention it was a very clean race. We did have some contact, but none of it really major. And in fact, it did not register any incidents. In fact, I don't remember seeing any incidents for any driver in the race, and that is a good sign. I love a good clean race. So we'll go ahead and drop in a 30 here since we're not qualifying right now. At least right now, we're not qualifying, but I've got some plans for that in the future, whether it's in season two or we simply just continue on with a first season. So what that does is shows us with a profit of $6,400. Now that's not the full uh, picture there because if you look at the top you can see it's actually more than that we're actually a one race behind on this if i move this over to race number five it would actually fill in uh, this number but it would also give us our cost for that so i'm staying away from that but we are doing pretty good now let's talk about a couple of things before we get to today's huge event number one we're earning money we're doing all the things we need to do aside from South Boston. That was an outlier and we're going to have those. That's not going to be the last time that that's going to happen to us. But as we continue to rack up all of these good finishes, our average finish is going to be that much better. And our average finish is going to determine the type of sponsorship money and offers that we get. Remember, we get three offers and we get to pick the one that we like the best. And that is something I'm very much looking forward to. So that that much more money that we're going to have coming in because what we really want to do is move up to the truck. So let's hop over to the classifieds and let's talk about some of the options that we have. Right now it's showing we have about $54,000, not quite $55,000. So what we're really wanting to do is get into a truck. Now, it really doesn't matter which one of these we purchase. We'll be actually running the Tundra because that's the one I own in iRacing. But let's take a look here. So we're going to put 62 in right up here at the top. For those of you who might not have ever seen the spreadsheet before, let's take a look very briefly at how this is going to work. So essentially, we put in the ID corresponding with the vehicle that we're interested in purchasing next. We put it in here. And then we say, OK, what age of car do we want? Age zero is a brand new chassis. That's top of the line technology and components. Age 10 is just that. It's several years old now, so it's not near as good. And there's a couple of ways we can play that. The spreadsheet is designed to play that as you purchase sort of a back marker car so that you're still running in the back and it adjusts the AI difficulty and that type of thing. And we can certainly do that. However, another option that I like is to choose age 10 as a single use chassis. So we purchase one chassis that is only good at a certain type of track. For example, a downforce chass chassis, which is only good at say the mile and a half, two miles, that type of track. So we can't run it everywhere because it's no good for that. It's not designed for that. It's not gonna be any good at your road courses or Talladega or Daytona, but it would be really good for a mile and a half, or we could simply purchase short track chassis. You get the idea. It's cheaper because if we put this in here at zero, you can see 630,000, just like we saw down a little bit further in the spreadsheet. But if we change this to a 10, it's only 252,000. And I like the idea of earning 252,000, purchasing this and only using it for select type of tracks. It's just so many different ways we can work this career mode. And I'm looking forward to making our dreams come true in a lot of different ways. But right now, sort of $252,000 is the number I'm looking for. It's going to take us a while to get there. However, that brings us back to today's race at Bristol. Again, as I've mentioned before, anywhere you see this dollar sign, in this case, super late models, we have three of them. Bristol, Martinsville, 
and then Nashville Fairgrounds. We can call these special events, we can call these crown jewels, whatever you want to call them. The take-home message is that these have huge paydays, a lot more than our normal races. So if we could get in the top three or top five or even just top ten, the money we could make here is absolutely huge. These are the races we're going to have to capitalize on in our quest to move into the truck series. So now we've got all our data entry. We know what's at stake at Bristol. We're headed to the track. All right, folks, here we go. 100 laps at Bristol. Are you guys ready for this? In VR, Bristol is everything I had hoped it would be. It feels like a coliseum. It looks like a coliseum. And of course, there is a sea of humanity in those stands. We've got to take a moment. We've got to wave to the stands. We've got a couple of laps before we go green here. We're using the default setup, the skill spread for the AI, 75 to 105. The biggest thing here, because we're starting in the back, now 100 laps is a long time. We're gonna have to take care of these tires. Um, I'm using the default setup with the exception of adding a couple of uh, gallons of fuel. Other than that, everything is exactly the same. And yeah, when I took out on practice, hopped in this car, it felt like a coliseum. The banking feels extremely okay, steep. And I can't wait to get going. But first things first, we've got to be patient. We've got to take care of the tires. It's a long race. However, we're starting in the back. The leader's going to be coming. Particularly if we get jammed up side by side here. There's plenty of room to race here, but I don't think three wide is where we want to be um, unless we have to. And even then, I'm not happy about three wide at Ready. this place. I, I don't know about that. It'll be fun, but I don't know if we'll come out the other end. <laughs> so we'll see how all this goes, but we got to get going. So it's that age old debate at Bristol. Green flag, you want to be flag. patient, but at the same time, the leader's coming. And you know that. And already in front of us, I can see that some of these guys have already started getting single file. That's how you're going to run the fastest laps. If you're constantly fighting with somebody else over territory and having to change your line, that's not going to help the lap times either. And all that's going to do is help the leader. Which groove do I go with right now? I feel like the high side is where I want to be to save the tires particularly that right front. But right now, are we going anywhere? No, we're not. There's nowhere I can go. We're just stacked up. I mean, there's what? 10, 12 cars right in front of us running side by side. Now, I will say one of the great things about VR is that in VR, I can definitely look around with my head. It's much easier than having to hit a button on your steering wheel to you know look left or look right it's much more natural i can just simply look into the corner or look ahead on the track to try to see where the leaders are or at least as far forward as i can see all right guys i'm gonna need somebody to do something but right now nobody's doing anything all right we're on lap six again plenty of time But nothing is happening in front of us. These guys are just training up. If there was somewhere to go, I would definitely try it. Other than three wide. But you can see, I mean, there's just nowhere to go for anybody. All right, we'll try the high side. Still there. All right, come on, guys. You're going to get us loud. Stay right there. Well, it looks like he kind of wants high. to get in that bottom groove. I, I'm a big fan of that. Go ahead, please. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this high side, right or there. what I'm going to call the high side. It's certainly not the high side at Bristol. Clear to the bottom. It's the high side probably for us today. Yep, you guys just get in that bottom inside. groove. I like it. Stay right there. 
Me and this 18 is just going to motor along on the high side. Appreciate it. Let's go. So trying to be real easy. Let the car rotate through the center. Really easy on the gas. Car's rotating nicely. I've got no gripes about the setup. Stay right there. We'll see what it does on the long run. I'm, I'm guessing it's going to be right uh, very tight by the end. Keep it on top. All right, big guy, you're up here with me now. We got to go. We got to go. We got to pass some cars. Leader's coming. I mean, Stay it's right bad there. to say. I mean, we're less than ten laps into this race, but the leader's coming. Stay right there. Plenty of room at this track, but uh, we're right next to each other. All right, I'm going to need you to get down to that bottom groove. <laughs> I'm going to need you to get down there because I am loving this middle groove here. Stay high. The second groove is, I'm all about it, right? And I'm, I'm able to be very easy on the gas. I'm touching the brake very lightly on entry. It's basically just a timing thing for me. It's not even about using the brake itself. It's just a timing device I'm using to get some rhythm. Got one inside. Just ever so stay high. briefly on Where? the brake. I make sure we stay out of that outside wall. I still don't have a good feeling for how wide these cars are in VR. So I'm trying to give myself a little room up there. Oh, we passing some Got cars now. Stay high. So now the question becomes, when do we reach cars that are running the same speed as us? When are we no longer running these guys down? Ooh, that was close. But I'm able to be very gentle with the gas. I'm not at full throttle for very long. I'm probably 40-50% throttle a lot of the time. Through the corner, somewhere 40-60 to 60, I'm guessing. And right now, we're just bringing it home here in this second group. Keep it up. Keep it up. Keep digging. Just being very easy on the car. Very easy on the tires. And we're still passing. All right. Coming up on Haley Deegan here. And she's giving us room. Got one inside. Yes, please. All I got to do is... Make sure I hit my marks. Stay right there. Give them room and hope that they give me room. Clear. I heard clear. All right, now I'm no longer as worried about the leaders uh, being behind us. Now I'm just focused on, let's take care of the car. And again, here in just a moment, I'm going to try to get a glimpse at what lap we're on. I'm going to try to catch a glimpse at where we are in the running order. Got one inside. I've been thinking about trying out Crew Chief, the uh, the application that works uh, with a lot of games, but primarily for iRacing here. Uh, I tried it out ever so briefly before. Really didn't get deep into it. Uh, I'm thinking about trying it out and seeing if it's got some more information because I would love a spotter slash Crew Chief that could give me more information about what's going on during the race than I'm currently getting. So I'll look into that. Uh, I have re-downloaded Crew Chief. And so we'll see. Uh, but I have to be careful about having too much going at the same time that I'm uh, in VR and recording and all that because we are right on the edge of making this all happen anyway. Still, there. Still haven't had a chance Stay to high. take a look at laps, running order, but uh, I'm not too worried about it because, well, Keep we're high. still passing cars quite regularly. The bottom. Wow, this is a long way from our first race. All right, everything has really spread out now up here at this part of the running order anyway. All right, Kale Gale up here in 83. Got one inside. Giving us Clear. plenty of room. I appreciate that. I'm going to try to do the same. Inside. Keep 
pie. Only on a short track can Stay you right say there. that a few inches is plenty of room that somebody is giving you. I mean, if they give you a foot, it's like they're just rolling the red carpet. And in VR, that's definitely how it feels. Clear inside. So I'm just rolling this middle here. There's, I mean, I can get down on that bottom, and I'm probably going to need to try that because I'm sure that we're going to need to do that running through traffic at some point. But right now, everybody's just hugging that bottom. And so the middle is where I want to be. I mean, you can see we're just rolling right up along these guys. Keep it on top. Stay right there. Clear. You can hear me being very easy Inside. with that throttle, giving it just a little bit of gas as we start to get to the corner exit, just to make sure that the car is rotating and going to take the throttle the way I need it to. Clear to the bottom. Okay, where are we? Lap 36, that's all I had time to see that time. Ooh, we're in 13th. I will definitely take that. All right, let's see what we like about the bottom. Ooh, all right, I didn't like that. All right, we'll go back to that in a moment. But what happened is I got back to the gas a little bit in the center of the corner, and the car went straight. So it was really pushing, and I don't want to do that, uh, number one, because I don't need to right now, with the car rolling so nicely in this second groove. But also because all that's going to do is wear out the right front tire. There's just no reason to do that right now. We're not fighting for position. Laps are not winding down. Okay, obviously we've got a few cars up here. Are they? Are some of these uh, lap traffic? Are we starting to get into lap traffic back here? You know, in that tenth to fifteenth range, or are these four positions? Now that's what we just don't know. I'm trying to catch a glimpse of who the cars are to see if I recognize them as as people that we've already passed. The first car we would get to, um, that's who we've started uh, next to, I believe, or running right behind, I should say, if memory serves me correctly. All right, so he's going to go to the high side. I don't like that because that's where I want to be. All right, so these two guys, I believe, are both lap cars. And I believe the high side is going to prevail car. here. I believe. It should. Oh, look at that. Thank you. Just guess who just got on my Christmas card list? Clear. But running this second groove is just allowing me to let the car do the work. I'm not having to force it into the bottom and try to really wrap that bottom groove. All right, so the next car in front of us. Actually, I believe that's Carson. Yeah, Carson Quapper. So he would be for 12th. We are almost at halfway. And I have to say, I don't think this race could have gone any better for us in the first half. Let's hope. Let's hope that continues on into the second half as well. starting to get those vibrations into the throttle pedal. I would say possibly the brake as well, but I'm using so little brake it's hard to tell. 
That car is not a lead lap car. So I haven't researched a lot about what makes uh, the pedals vibrate. Obviously, it could be a bad thing, loose wheel, that kind of thing, but I'm not sure that that's what that's actually for. I think it could simply be, well, it's concrete, so it's rough. Could be rubber buildup. All sorts of things that it could be. Oh, we're going to lock him in here behind this 28, maybe. That car is a lap down. Keep it on top. Car still feels good as uh, as far as overall. Uh, it feels like it might be getting a, a touch loose under throttle. Not that bad, not a lead lap car. but enough that if I'm too aggressive with the throttle at the wrong time, then it might not turn out too well for me. We might be kissing the wall. So still not too bad though. As long as I'm very delicate with it, then we should be fine. So that should put us up into 12th position. All right, it does. I see a lot of lead, or excuse me, uh, lap down traffic in front of us. As I take a quick glimpse. So a lot of lap traffic. Now that tells me that the top 10 are just gone. Like they're out of sight for me. I am quite possibly a half a lap behind the top 10. That car is not a lead lap car. And as much as I could certainly benefit from a caution, I don't want to see one. I love it when these things can go caution free because it, more than anything, as someone who loves to run against the AI, it just means inside. that they're doing their job. They're running their lane. There's always going to be other things that, other behaviors we would love to see from the AI, such as running multiple grooves. But above everything else, we need them to be that stable not and not run over each other and run over We've us as the player inside. and that kind of thing. So that tells me that it, they're at least Keep doing that. Stay high. Now, I'll tell you right now, if and car. when AI clear. for dirt racing is ever brought, um, I'm going to do that probably for hours and hours a day if I can find the time. Because I can't imagine anything more fun right now <laughs> than that. Sliding around in a sprint car, a midget, you know, just all, just all day long, just for the sheer fun of it. And I'll definitely be adding that to a career series, no doubt. Right. There's the bottom. Inside. Keep high. Clear to the bottom. All right, that's the inside. leader. Clear to the bottom. Got one inside. That inside that you're inside. seeing, Got that's the leader. Clear. I did catch it. I didn't really glance down, but out of my Keep peripheral vision, I saw it the red popping up on the screen. So what I'm trying to do is just basically run my race. We're not as fast as the leaders. That's clear. I mean, we know that. And and I'm 100%. I got that. But it doesn't mean we want to go down on that. We're going to do what we can. We need to glance once again, see where they're at. Yep, there they are, and I believe that's Bubba. Got one inside. To our inside. Yep, inside. that's him. Inside. Again, caught that out of the rearview mirror just ever so briefly. Still there. So trying to give him plenty of room on the bottom to do his thing. We don't want to repeat. <laughs> we don't want that. At South Boston, he got into us AI. and ended up just wrecking us. <laughs> Coming off of the corner. So I'm trying to give him room. I'm not going to make it easy for him. We're not just going to pull over, but I'm Keep running my top. groove, doing my thing. I would like an update on, on what lap we're on. As far as our position, I mean, these guys, 
in the top 10, but we've already seen that they're likely so far ahead of me, I'm not sure I can make up any more positions. But there's a lot of cars in front of me right now, so who knows? So right now what Bubba is having to do, because he's on the bottom, is he's having to use up his tires a lot more than me. I'm just freewheeling it here in this second groove, really not forcing the car to do anything. That car is a lap down. Just trying to ease it into the corner. And if I can continue catching lap traffic like we are right now, then we'll keep taking this high side. Now I got a feeling that 22 up there is not a lap down. I got a feeling that's for position. Yes, it is. Got one inside. But now we're in kind of a mess. Stay right there. Stay oh, right there. Sterling, there we go. Sterling coming up there, he's taking the lead, and he's not playing any games with me. He's like, look, Bubba was being nice to you. He's like, I'm going. Now he's done got he's got himself in a mess. So let's see if we can let's see if we can that use Sammy Smith down. to get Still through there. here. The yeah, the car's a little bit free under inside. throttle on exit. But again, it's not a huge deal. Hopefully it stays there. Keep it on top. Oh, I thought I was going to be able to pin Sammy on the bottom. Did not Still work. Ready. All right, guys, I'm going to need y'all to get this worked out. Oh, he did go back to the bottom. This lap traffic, I'm going to need y'all to get it that figured out. That car is a lap down. That car is a lap down. Still All right, so he's running the high side by choice, which is awesome. I've seen that at a few tracks in the past, uh, namely Richmond. Some here. That car is a lap down. But what I've really seen it is at Richmond, where the cars would uh, actually start to move around as the tires Still there. wore out. Oof. We are on about Still 20 there. laps. Right front tires wore out. Yes, it is. Right front tire is definitely wearing out, but we've got 20 more laps. Stay right there. All right, I can't really Clear. go anywhere. Got one inside. Clear inside. I'm trying to get a little bit on his high side, seeing if I can force him to move down the track a little bit. That's what I was trying to do there. Got one inside. But we got somebody to our inside pretty Clear. regularly here. And I'm kind of stuck. Inside. Stay right there. Stay Which right is not there. fun, but right now it hasn't really cost us a lot. And that's the good thing. Clear. Alright, I heard clear. I was already inside. There's the bottom. Got one inside. Keep it on top. Oh, I can get there. Clear. But I can't quite. He's entering too high. For me to get inside. there, oh, like I want to. Stay right there. Clear to the bottom. Got one inside. Stay right there. I'm also not sure he's going to give me room up bottom. here. Because it doesn't look like he is. Inside. Still there. Oh. Keep it on top. Yeah, he's not giving me much in the way of room. I pushed it a little Stay too right far there. there. That car is a lap down. That car is a lap down. All right, so we're going to get back to bottom. him here. And if I could get to his bottom, I would try that. Got one inside. Still there. All right, who is that down there? Oh, that's Sterling. Really down there. No wonder we can't get. Clear inside. Inside. All right, so we're just going to have to take right our medicine there. for right now. If I can't find a way by him on the oof, right that is so frustrating right there because Still there. 
All right, that's for position. Clear. Got one inside. Clear. Inside. Still there. All right, well, we used this same method of using the lap cars as a pick to gain a lot of positions early on in the race. Now it looks like it's coming back to us the other way. Stay high. Clear inside. Inside. All right, now the 88, that will be... Keep it on top. He's, what, second position probably? Yeah, because that's probably, that's Majeski, he's third. Keep it on top. Clear to the bottom. There goes, I would imagine, fourth. If my thinking is correct. Ten laps to go. All right, ten laps to go. Can I get down? <laughs> this is wild. Oh, got a little too close to the wall. Oh, I would love to get under you. But I think I had somebody right inside. Still there. Oh, he's moved way up the track now. Keep it on top. I do love the fact that the AI are moving around like that. Like, he doesn't have to run up there. He was running that middle groove. Now he's moved up to what I'm going to call the high line. He's close enough to the wall now that that's the high line. That car is not a lead lap car. And I am just stuck. Waiting for a hole on the bottom or waiting for him to go to the bottom, which doesn't appear as like though it's going to happen. Stay right there. Yeah, they're just lined Clear. up down there. As you best I can inside. tell from my mirror. Clear inside. Got one inside. That car is not a lead lap car. Stay right there. So I'm just trying to be patient right here. Stay right there. Bottom That's all I really can do. Clear inside. I have no interest. Got one inside. Uh, that, and I'm really hoping that he doesn't hit that wall up there and get out of shape and spin it out. Keep it on top. Because if he does that, I am in deep trouble. Clear inside. Alright, are we clear inside? Yes, we are. Two laps to go. Outside. That car is not a lead Ooh, lap car. Our, yeah, our right front is done. That car is a lap down. Clear outside. Got one outside. That car yep, is a lap down. Yep, our right front is done on here on the bottom. It's not... Got one outside. White it's not white, awful, awful. To but Stay compared left. to Stay running outside. that middle groove, it is definitely, definitely done. Because I could just let it float through the middle. That's the checkered flag. Woo! And we'll get them next time. Okay. So we did it. Um, I don't know where we finished yet. We'll have to get pulled over here. And again, I'm not going to head into the pits like the rest. Because that can end up in bumper cars sometimes. The race is over. All right, so we're going to let these guys head off the track. But this is, we're just going to take a few laps around and just look around. This is awesome. This was absolutely awesome. And the ending, as much as I hated that we lost a couple of more spots there in that last, say, 15, 20 laps, getting stuck behind the lap car, that's realistic. That's how it can happen in real life. So I'm not really mad about that. Uh, it's unfortunate because it's going to take some money from us, but that was a lot of fun. So let's all together, let's wave to the crowd and say goodbye to the Coliseum. This was amazing. So what happened? We ended up 13th position. That's going to get us a big jump in our uh, average finish. And it's also really going to help us out with a huge payday but we'll have to wait and see about that payday when we come back next time for now thank you guys so much for joining me and stick around for more custom career mode and vr gameplay